Final game of the holiday weekend homestand for the Durham Bulls. And the Bulls come up big winners over the Norfolk Tides. I'm Patrick Keenis for Durham Bulls Daily. If it's the first time joining the podcast, subscribe and you'll never miss an episode. You can do that on Apple and on Spotify. And also watch this little mini pod on our YouTube channel at Durham Bulls TV. Well, the Bulls, a nice win on Friday to give themselves an opportunity to win the series with the Tides after a 5-2 to win. Connor Norby set the early tone for Norfolk, though. A two-run homer in the first inning and then hit another home run, a three-run shot in the fourth, both against Bulls starter Mason Montgomery. And the Tides would have a 2-0 lead after his first and a 5-4 lead after his second. But prior to the second home run, the Bulls loaded the bases in the bottom of the first against Chase McDermott. McDermott struck out a career-high 12 Bulls batters on Monday, sees the same team again five days later. And when Austin Shenson came to the plate with the bases loaded, we knew it was going to be a different night. Shenson smacks the plate with a barrel of his bat. He will key on a fastball and a fastball only. And swings, lifts it to left center field with depth. Haskin angling back. This one's to the monster, and it's gone. It's a grand slam for Austin Shenton. Key hold, he did. Sit on it, he did. Circle the bases, he does. It's a grand slam and a 4 2 Bulls lead in the first. That grand slam by Shenton gave the Bulls a 4-2 lead. Norby then hit his three-run homer against Montgomery in the fourth to put the Tides back up 5-4. But we'll have the Bulls scoring 14 runs in the game. 12 of those came in on home runs. Still trailing 5-4 into the bottom of the sixth inning with McDermott long gone, knocked out in the first inning. Curtis Mead came to the plate against Vinny Natoli, just in from the bullpen and just new to the organization. Signed five days ago, Mead batting is the go-ahead run in the sixth. Mead 0 for 3. The pitch from Natoli, scald it out to right center, hit well. Stowers angles back. This ball is going to go. Mead, a two-run rocket to right center. On a two strike, two out pitch for Natoli. Bulls lead, six to five in the sixth. Home run by Meade would be his 10th of the year. Gave the Bulls their second lead of the game, and that would open up the floodgates. In the seventh inning, the Bulls scored six times to break it open. Shenson hit his second home run of the night, and then the Bulls would load the bases. Stop me if you've heard this before. This time, Cameron Meisner batting with the bases loaded in the seventh with the Bulls on top eight to five. Stroud holds, now the one, two. And Meisner cracks one to right, hit well. Stowers back to the track, to the wall. Second Bulls grand slam of the game. Meisner to right. And the Bulls have broken it apart. 12-5 in the seventh. That would be the second Bulls Grand Slam of the game. Meisner knocks it out for his 13th of the year. The Bulls would grab a 12 to five lead, tack on a couple of runs against a position player, Nick Maytown, who came on to throw the bottom of the eighth. And the Bulls went at 14 to five, win the series four games to two, and get back to 500 in the second half with a mark of six and six. The Bulls are off on Sunday and off on Monday and they play their final series before the All-Star break in Charlotte. That begins on Tuesday night at 7.04. Tyler Alexander is expected to make the start for the Bulls. So a big game for Durham. They win this series over the Tides, four games to two. Your final over 8,205 pay to watch it in a game that was delayed a little more than an hour because of rain before the first pitch. Bulls beat the Tides 14-5. Once again, subscribe if you can. Apple, Spotify, and to our YouTube channel, Durham Bulls TV. Once again, the Bulls beat the Tides on Saturday night, 14-5. I'm Patrick Keenis for Durham Bulls Daily.